he said four to five hundred. For Drew Galeas and his wife Joanne, the environment is of the utmost importance. We've always been concerned and work towards reducing our footprint. So when he came across an article about a farmer in the US using solar energy to power his tractor, the wheels started to turn. I was fortunate enough to find a fellow just a few miles south of us who had a tractor and he literally said, if you want it, you can have it. And it was just a, really a bucket of parts. Over the following winter he would return that bucket of parts to its former glory, a fully functional solar powered tractor. I do remember when I backed it out of the shop and I was very, I was very happy that it worked as well as it did. He's an inventor in his deepest heart. It's what he loves and he has this capacity to think forever and design things and then actually build them. Running eight deep cycle 12 volt batteries, Galeas says the 1950s Massey Harris Pacer is a pleasure to drive. It's quiet, it's, there's no smoke, there's no, in the summertime, there's no heat roaring off a diesel engine. It gives me a good feeling just to think that I'm just, you know, not polluting the atmosphere. Now, when we have to use the other tractor, it's kind of, dis well, it's disappointing ethically, but it's also, gosh, it's smelly and noisy. And while solar tractors have yet to really catch on, this farmer believes the future is bright. I think that the sky's the limit when we start to put our energies into that technology. If everybody was buying and building electric tractors, who knows what the, how far the cost would come down and how high the, uh, uh, the technology would go. This is just one of the many examples of environmental responsibility on the Galeas' full circle farm, none of which they say have gone unnoticed. He's been an influence just on the more conventional farmers in our little neighbourhood who are who have been impressed with how our land over the 16 years has become more productive and uh, there's been a lot of sharing and, and we have more organic farmers in our little neighbourhood just because of that influence. Galeas has dreams of one day running his entire farm without fossil fuels. While he says the technology isn't quite there yet, his solar powered tractor is a step in that direction. And I know it's small, but that's how I think things start when they grow from there. For Go near Creston, I'm James Farnan.